Time for an end of the year haul video. Um, I don't really know what to call this, um, or uh, even if it is going to be the end of the year. I don't know when this is going up, but uh, point is, um, I got a bunch of stuff that I've purchased, uh, f some fairly recently, some of it I've been sitting on for a while, uh, and I don't know exactly how to classify this video. <laughs> It's not a, there's stuff from stores, there's action figures, there's uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHS tapes from uh, thrift stores. So this isn't a thrift stores, treasures video, or whatever series that is I call. Uh, I guess we're just going to go through things and show off stuff that uh, either I haven't had a chance to show on camera or uh, I found at the store just by coincidence and... Uh, wasn't able to film for various reasons. Uh, unfortunately, there hasn't been a toy toy hunt video in a while. That's due to multiple reasons. Uh, hopefully, sometime in the not-too-distant future, I'm hoping to have that remedied, but we will see. Um, anyway, enough, uh, enough of this jibber-jabber. Let's talk about what I got here. So, uh, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, here next to me. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, I guess we'll start with the action figures. So um, here's the first one I got. It is another Usagi. They made another Usagi, guys. It's a uh, space Usagi from uh, NECA, who did the uh, Usagi Ojimbo figure for the Ninja Turtles the uh, in the style of the 87 show. They put out another Usagi, and uh, I have it. And uh, I think I'm going to do a video on this separately but yeah i just happened to walk into target one day and i saw that and i, I wasn't prepared to film or anything and not that i got anything else anyway but uh, i thought i would put this out there just as a uh, little preview of a potential future video um also uh, i got a whole bunch of stuff on discount on uh, a lot of um uh reduced stuff let's start with the um what might be the less interesting stuff Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. I've still not seen this movie. Some of the action figures were on discount, $10 at Walmart. Marked down from, what does that say? $24.97. Uh, unfortunately, I only have two of them. Uh, we have Forge, who I assume is the archer, because he's got a crossbow. I almost had a crossbow for my archer, but uh, I found out crossbows kind of suck in Dungeons and Dragons, because you got to like reload them, and I think there's like misfiring, so I just... My archer just uses a bow. It's just, it's just easier. Uh, and then we have uh, Holga, who I assume is the fighter, based on her uh, her uh, anger and axe. <laughs> Again, I've still not seen this movie. Um, I would like to at some point, but um, yeah, I thought these were kind of cool. They're uh, they're done uh, in well closed boxes. They're uh, just like the uh, the cartoon Dungeons and Dragons figures that I opened up a while ago. Uh, I actually had kind of a weird idea. I don't know if I have the space for this, but I was gonna set up a display of Dungeons and Dragons figures. I was gonna do uh, the Honor Among Thieves figures, the animated figures from the cartoon, and Legend of Vox Machina because there's also figures for Vox Machina, and they just have them like all on separate shelves next to each other. I don't have the space for that. Also, I don't have any of the Vox Machina figures. Also, I don't have all of these because these were the only two that Walmart had on discount. Um, actually, that's not true. There was one other one, um, and I took a picture of this because I thought this was very weird because these were reduced to uh, $10 from, what was it, 25 or whatever. Uh, so on the rack where they had these, they had one of the other guys, and I'm going to put a picture up when I, uh, when I get around to getting it off my phone. Uh, but for some reason, his price tag was way higher. And uh, I think it was actually closer or maybe even higher than the original price. Uh, does anybody know why that would be? <laughs> did, did they make a mistake? Uh, was, was something about that figure was particularly valuable? Uh, I don't know. It's just very strange to me. Uh, and I would have gotten him if he hadn't been, uh, you know, too expensive. But... Uh, it's a shame because I don't have the rest of the figures, but thankfully Ollie's came and <laughs> came to the rescue. Yeah, I went back to Ollie's, and uh, they had him there. Uh, they had these two also. They had him there also for ten dollars. So suck it, Walmart. You done goofed. <laughs> um, I forget who else was in the uh, in the movie. Again, I have to say it, but yeah, uh, cool finds, I guess. 
good figures from what I understand. Hopefully they're better quality than the the cartoon figures were. Okay, so speaking of discounts, I got more stuff that I found on discount. Uh, I found some G.I. Joe classifieds. Uh, and I found these, of all places, at Ross for six dollars uh this is uh sergeant savage who i don't think uh or sergeant stalker rather who i don't think i have i don't know i have to check my bins but uh six dollars for one of these is great i also found uh to tomax and zamot both for six bucks each yeah at ross uh these normally sell for like 20 ish so i got three of these for less than the cost of one which is a steal. <laughs> I never, uh, I have to check Ross more often. Ross is, um, if you've never been to Ross, it's, um, primarily like clothing and housewares, home goods and stuff, but they do have a toy section and I think they get their toys from like, uh, overstock from other stores, similar to maybe similar to Ollie's, maybe similar to, um, uh, like big lots or places like that. But, uh, yeah, I just happened to go there one day and they had a whole bunch of, uh, classifieds and I saved a lot of money buying these, <laughs> which is good for me right now. Uh, I also uh, want to show you this, the, um, side art of Tomax and Zama is really cool. Puts the Cobra together, has them back to back. Very nice. Uh, yeah. So, um, and, and I went around to other Rosses. Ross, I, I kind of go in every once in a while cause usually there's one in the same plaza of, places I like to go. Usually there's one next to a Walmart or, a, you know, uh, so, some other store I go to GameStop is like one in the same plaza. And I went to a bunch of them and they all had the same three figures, which is weird and unfortunate because I went to a lot of them looking for other figures. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find a, another G.I. Joe classified, but I did find a Masters of the Universe Masterverse figure. <laughs> It's Pighead from Sunman, the lame-ass villain from Sunman. Sun Man. Yeah, look at him, Pighead, everyone's favorite. And I got him for $4. <laughs> uh, normally 14 I don't think that's accurate. Uh, I think these go for a little bit more. It's been, actually been a while since I bought one of these, but my God, the savings. <laughs> it was incredible. I, I wish I could have filmed this and, like, recorded my reactions but unfortunately ross is kind of a hard place to film in because it's usually very crowded and very small and uh very very loud and uh you know they they play music loud it's just, uh, yeah it's not ideal for filming at least with target you know occasionally someone will the you know the the aisles will clear out and i can uh i can film in peace uh here's all the other characters from this one we got sorceress many faces and shadow weaver uh, I know Sunman actually does have a, a Masterverse figure. Unfortunately, I've not seen that. Um, I think from now on, I'm just going to wait for things to go on discount. <laughs> uh, they don't seem to be, uh, at least not in my area, they don't seem to be crazy about, uh, you know, people clearing the shelves of Masterverse figures. But um, at least not lately. Maybe the craze has died off or something. But yeah, I'm going to continue to check uh, my discount places and... <laughs> save some money uh also i got one more toy to show off um let me hold on let me move some things around here Jeez, the table's getting crowded let me let me put these guys here there we go so uh speaking of ollies uh i saw something else at ollies i thought was kind of cool um i don't know if i remember seeing this in a previous trip to ollies when i when i did that video but uh maybe if i did maybe my mind has changed about it because and this is gonna be hard to film uh, Fortnite G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Katana. <laughs> I didn't realize that G.I. Joe did a collab with Fortnite, but then again, everything is doing a collab with Fortnite, so, yeah. Uh, um, I think this might be the only Fortnite item I own, which, uh, makes me a tad bit ill, but, uh, it is G.I. Joe and it is Snake Eyes, so we will forgive it for now. I'm guessing this was to promote the movie? Um, which uh, again, I still haven't seen that one either. I should really catch up on my movies. Um, I thought this was kind of neat because it's a really cool black sword. Uh, and I do enjoy me a, a nice role play sword. Uh, what's surprising me about this is it is solid plastic, which I don't think you see very often these days for swords. Usually they make swords out of like, uh, 
some kind of spongy material like foam rubber or you know something uh something soft so that when kids uh you know play around with them and hit each other with them they won't they won't get hurt and grow up strong um but yeah that was kind of neat it's a neat little sword maybe i'll use it as a, a prop in a video one day if i can well i was gonna say not break it but yeah this ain't breaking not anytime soon this is a good good quality sword put that with my other swords all right so there was that um that is all the toys that i have uh let's talk about movies dvds blu-rays all that good stuff so uh this stack here of blu-rays and a couple dvds i have are from uh, black friday and cyber monday um so uh, i went to target these are the, uh, this bit here is the only ones I actually bought in person. The rest I got it uh, on Cyber Monday through Amazon. But uh, Target was having a buy three, get one free deal on Blu-rays, and they were on discount as well. Uh, so I got the Super Mario Brothers movie. Really like this movie. It is a fun movie despite the uh, less than desirable voice cast, but uh, that's a small issue we have with it. Otherwise, it is great. Uh, I also got uh, Across the Spider-Verse the sequel to Enter the Spider-Verse. Another really good movie. I think I liked um, the first one a little bit more. This one felt more of a... Felt, felt too crowded. Felt too much, too condensed, you know? Um, but it was it was very good. Um, waiting to see when the sequel comes out. Who knows? And uh, the other movie I got was uh, <laughs> Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Well, now I have no excuse to not watch it. Um, so I guess we could take a look at who I'm missing from the... Okay, there's uh, there's him. Simon, who I guess is the cleric or the sorcerer. Uh, this guy, Paladin, maybe? Uh, there, that's Chris Pine. He's the bard. I, the only thing I know about this movie is the face that Chris Pine's... That famous face. I don't even know what the context of that scene is, but yeah. And uh, this lady here. So, yeah, quite a few characters. Uh, oh, three characters i'm sure i can find them um i hear good things about this movie especially from people who play D, which i am one of now even though we haven't met in a while but that's that's okay it's good to take a break every once in a while but yeah those are uh, the three pickups i got from target so let's look at uh the movies that i got from uh cyber monday on amazon um let's see i got I got one DVD set. Let's look at uh, let's look at that real quick. Reboot the animated series. I love Reboot until they made it live action on Netflix and made it terrible. Uh, that's a whole different thing. I don't even know if that's considered canon anymore. But then again, the show didn't have an ending, so we don't know. Uh, yeah, I've had my eye on this for a while. I think it's one of the few major shows that I don't have a DVD set of. Surprisingly, no Blu-ray. I don't understand why. A lot of uh, a lot of animated series kind of get shafted when it comes to Blu-rays. A lot of them are still just available on DVD. Even like new ones. Like I was going to get the new Masters of the Universe, uh, the the CGI one, and uh, they have it available on DVD, not Blu-ray though. Don't know why. Brand new. No excuse to not have it on Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, this is the complete series. Um, the uh, original series when uh, and, and then when Enzo grew up and became oh there he is over there sorry I saw green through the viewfinder and when Enzo grew up and became badass and uh, then there was like the final season which I think people didn't like very much but it's a rant for another time but anyway there you go now you can review it shut up I'm busy all right next up we have uh, uh, some of these I got just because of how like discounted they were. Uh, so I have a couple movies here that I have, I don't have, and a couple that I've already had on DVD. So we're just, I'm just going to go through the stack as it, as I have it here. Um, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. I've been wanting to see that this movie is cur- uh, has me very curious because apparently, um, it seemed like it was going to be really good, and apparently it's not. I, th- I don't think it did well in uh, theaters. Unfortunately, I mean that's not always an indication of a movie's quality, but. Uh, you know, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But yeah, this is DreamWorks uh, throwing shade at the Little Mermaid, which I think is why I like I liked it. I like the idea so much. Uh, maybe I'll check that out one day. Next up, we have uh, one of my personal favorite classics on Blu-ray: Flight of Dragons. Yes, the uh, Rankin Bass. The Rankin Bass did this one. Yeah, yeah, I think Rankin Bass did this one because a lot of the voice actors were in it from Thundercats. 
Um, yeah, Flight of Dragon. I did a review on this like a thousand years ago on the main channel. Well, before I was, the main channel was even a thing, I did a review on it. That's why I said a thousand years. But uh, I really like this movie. It has a lot of charm to it and uh has some cool characters uh i think it, it did pretty well considering it's based on a book that's not even really a book it's like an art book <laughs> it's not a novel or anything but yeah if you uh if you have a chance to watch it check it out it's uh it's great it's got um good voice acting cool designs um uh what else can i say about it uh, james earl jones voices the villain i mean that, that should be a selling point right there but anyway yeah i had it on dvd now i have it on blu-ray uh, speaking of another Blu-ray upgrade, Duck Dodges in the 24th and one half century. I loved this show. <laughs> this might be one of my favorite Looney Tunes things ever. Not just because of how funny and and great it was, because it stars two of my favorites, Daffy Duck and Marvin the Martian. And I have the complete series on Blu-ray now. I have, um, I think, Volume 1 and Volume 2 on DVD. Uh, volume 3, I think, is a little harder to find, but... Uh, yeah, now I have uh, now I have it on Blu-ray, the whole thing in a nice slim, slim DVD or Blu-ray set instead of three giant DVD sets on my shelf. Next up, we have Ghostbusters Afterlife. I enjoyed this movie. Um, I don't think I liked it as much as the first two. Uh, yeah, Ghostbusters one and Ghostbusters two. Um, yeah, not even Ghostbusters two. I like Ghostbusters two a lot, but um, and th this one was a decent follow-up uh, i mean i like the new characters um i like that it paid good tribute to harold ramus maybe they went a little too far with the schmaltziness but uh he definitely deserved a uh <clears throat> proper send-off um but yeah i i enjoyed this very much i i affectionately called this the uh the junior ghostbusters movie for those of you that remember the real ghostbusters junior ghostbusters except these are the, like the good junior ghostbusters not the annoying kids inserted by parent groups because it's not child friendly or whatever uh yeah ghostbusters afterlife very good i think it's cool it's a, a decent um a decent follow-up to you know the original two ghostbusters movies uh new ones coming out looks kind of interesting apparently they've been using um real ghostbusters as inspiration which is a very good move because real ghostbusters is arguably even better than the movies so good to know about that but uh, hopefully it turns out well. Would be a shame if we had a bad Ghostbusters movie, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> I don't know anything about this movie. It's a, It came out around when um, uh, Multiverse of Madness came out. I think this is like another multiverse movie or something. I don't know what the plot is. Uh, I've heard nothing but good praises about it, though. This Blu-ray set was $6, and it was on sale. So, yeah, uh, I guess no excuse to not own it. Um, yeah, people say it's very good. Maybe I'll check it out one day and see if they're right. And finally, the last Blu-ray that I have, The Wizard. Yes, The Wizard with um, Fred Savage and those two. Uh <laughs> Uh, the Wizard is a movie from uh, the late 80s. Um, I forget what year it came out, but uh, it was basically a big advertisement for Nintendo. Let's just get that out of the way. But it is, uh, it's is—it's got a lot of like heart to it. You know, it's a very, you know, they, the characters are good. Yes, every once in a while we see someone playing a Nintendo game and they're like, whoa, that's awesome. And yeah, it was the debut of Super Mario Brothers 3 in this movie. Uh, I think what really drew me to this is the uh, artwork. I really like that sprite work. Someone should make this into a game. Uh, where's, the, where's the wizard the game? Can we can we have that, please? But yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie when I saw it. I haven't seen it in a while, but um, yeah, very good. All right, so that is everything from uh, Cyber Monday slash Black Friday. Uh, this final stack of stuff is VHS tapes that I got at a thrift store. Uh, thrift stores around me have unfortunately been very, very dry. Uh, but I decided to pop in and uh, check, and I uh, found a couple things. I actually found a bunch of other stuff. Um, I found a bunch of really cool, like, like I saw a, a thrift store that had a Super Mario Brothers Super Show VHS. Unfortunately, it was in really bad condition, so... Uh, 
didn't take that home. I would have had I had it been in good condition, but uh, I found some other stuff, uh, mostly clamshell stuff. Uh, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, my continued effort to pad out my Disney VHS collection. <laughs> I'm now resorting to the sequels. Um, this one, I would say, is one of the better sequels. Not great, not perfect, but watchable, which I guess is good enough for one of the Disney directed video sequels. <laughs> I stand by that the uh, Aladdin ones are the best ones, but uh, Lion King 2, I remember it being pretty good. I don't remember a whole lot about it. Uh, people have made comparisons to the Lion King, calling it uh, Hamlet, um, but uh, if, that, if, if that is true, then this is Romeo and Juliet, so they're clearly taking some Shakespeare inspiration for the uh, Lion King, which is very, very odd. Um, yeah, this was like uh, Simba's son or daughter i don't remember and then there was like a, a group of bad lions and they like one of the kids from their pride and the, and simba's kid like become friends and potentially fall in love or something and then there's like a war and blah blah blah, blah. yeah you know the drill you've seen you've seen this story before um yeah it's uh it's fine one of the like i said one of the better disney sequels you guys are getting in my way you need to move back please thank you uh, next up, uh, I didn't find a lot of, like, great stuff, but, um, I found Quest for Camelot. Uh, not a particularly great movie, but, um, it was, a, you know, a 90s animated movie, which have, 90s animated movies seem to have, like, um, their own special vibe to them. You know, like, Cats Don't Dance, and, um, Iron Giants, and, uh... It, it, excluding like Disney movies, of course, but yeah, there's some some about this era of animated movies was just there's something about it so great. Even if the movie's not that good, like this one, it's it's not terrible. It's just kind of underwhelming, I guess would be the best description of Quest for Camelot. But uh, it was fun. Uh, speaking of underwhelming, Pokemon the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> featuring Mewtwo and Mew. Oh my God, the rumors were true. There is a Mew. Um, I'm surprised I didn't have this. There it is right there. I should show the VHSs. Um, probably the worst of the Pokemon movies. <laughs> and it is the first one, unfortunately. Um, I haven't seen all the Pokemon movies. I've seen this one. I've seen... I've seen the one with Entei, which in my opinion is the best one. Uh, I seen the one with Lucario. I seen the one with, uh, where they were underwater with like the pirate, the weird pirate guy or whatever, wherever that one was. And, uh, I probably seen other ones, but I don't remember. Um, yeah, I, I would say those are better than this movie. This movie was clumsy and yeah. Uh, people probably have nostalgic memories of it and you, you're allowed to have that, but acknowledge that it's bad just it's fine you'll be better you'll be better off for it uh so those are not very good but uh here's something that's better uh james and the giant peach on vhs i like this movie oh no the clamshell is falling apart uh disney i didn't I, did, did i remember that disney uh made this movie i don't remember that uh oh yeah because jack skellington makes a cameo appearance sort of well, well they use his they use his model for like another character or something like that. It's been a while since I've seen it, but uh, you know, stop motion animation. Um, really, well, it's live action and then it turns to stop motion. I think this is based on a Roll Doll story, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, I, I remember really liking it. It has a lot of charm. I like this. You know, stop motion characters are always fun. Uh, very absurd plot, but that's kind of why we love it. I think. <laughs> two thumbs way up though by uh siskel and ebert so there you go mark of quality definitely uh the best of of these four <laughs> pickups i got we have decent but forgettable and then mediocre at best and then we have the the good one on top so there you go all right well that's uh my haul uh i guess i'll do this when i don't have a chance to go out and film which is probably not going to be for a while um We've got more stuff coming up though for uh reviews and uh videos and other things um so look out for those 
Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know which one of these things I got was your favorite. <laughs> There's a very big variety of stuff here. So, yeah, feel free, feel, uh, feel free to chime in and let me know. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please give me a like. Uh, please give me a... I keep getting this mixed up with Twitch because I'm on Twitch more these days. Please uh, like the video. Be sure to comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and uh, check out my other videos, and uh, it'll help the channel. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.